you know, there's a lot of different styles of water bottle designs. In today's class, we're going to be creating our own, our own unique design of water bottle. You can make it look pretty much however you want. But I got a few basic criteria that I want you to follow. For one, I want it to have threads. I want it to be incorporating the revolve tool, which will give it a cylindrical shape. I also wanted to use the shell tool, which will make it hollow like this on the inside. And lastly, I want you to have a decal on it. Let's look at it a little bit closer. The goal of today's class is that you will create a, in design, you will design a 3D model of a water bottle using the revolve and shell tools. The bottle will have threads and a decal. And we're going to take about one class period to do this. So let's get started. Please understand you can make your bottle look however you want as long as it follows that basic criteria. Now, before class, I was kind of looking around here because the way that I work best is to kind of investigate existing designs a little bit. And I, and I found this one right here, which I like this wooden one. It's, it looks pretty cool. It's got that kind of lip on the top. I don't know. Maybe we can find another picture of it somewhere. But, yeah, here's one. I, I thought that this looked pretty cool. It looks like it opens up and stuff like that. But I'm just going to make this basic shape like this. So. I like to get out a piece of paper and kind of draw some things out because it, for me, it, I figure it doesn't take too long to sketch stuff out and I can throw in some basic numbers and that helps me, for me, that saves me time when I get into an adventure because it's really easy to just erase stuff on paper sometimes than it is to delete entire sketches and things like that. So I'm going to make it look kind of like this. It's going to have a three inch opening on the top and four inch on the bottom. It's going to be about eight inches tall. I want to add in this little green um, lip up on top and I think I also want to make a section on the bottom that is black, which I think will look kind of cool. So I'm going to improvise a little bit in Adventure, but this will give me a good game plan to, to work from. So I already opened up a new part file and I created a new sketch. And I'm going to start off by creating a rectangle. And before we go further here, I should actually point out one thing. Let me go backwards a little bit on this design to show you how, what I'm about to do. Here's my original sketch here. You'll notice that I made like a, you make half of the object. So I kind of created this, these curves and an arc. And when you finish the sketch and revolve it, it rotates that sketch 360 degrees. So that's what I'm about to do. So I made a rectangle, and I, I want it to be 8 inches tall. So I type in 8 inches. Zoom out a little bit. I want the bottom to be 4 inches wide, but here's the thing. Since I'm going to revolve this, I'm only going to type in half of that dimension, which is 2 inches, because this is going to double in a moment. I also want to have a kind of cutout here. I want this top part, the distance actually between this line and this line, to be that on the total piece, the total uh, bottle here, it's going to be three inches wide. But I'm only drawing half of that profile here. So half of three is 1.5. So I'm going to make this dimension be just that. I'm going to trim out these lines here. And I'm going to put in a couple circles here. And these circles will kind of give me accent lines. Now just for a little symmetry, I'm going to throw on a dimension of one inch. And why don't I make the dimension of the circle be about a quarter of an inch, 0.25. Now I'm going to repeat that same thing down here. I'm going to throw in a circle that's an inch from the edge. And I'm going to make this circle be a quarter of an inch. But I want to get rid of the outside part of that circle and the line coming down. That looks pretty good. So I finish my sketch. And this time, students, instead of extruding like we've done every other time, we're going to revolve this sketch. The inventor, you know, the computer is wondering, what, do you, what axis do you want to revolve around? And this is that center, like the center of the point I want to act, uh, revolve. So it rotates fully around 360 degrees. And I got my shape. 
Now just for a little added touch, I'm going to add in a small uh, rounded radius at the bottom. Feel free to improvise, students, and, and make yours be you know, your own unique design. If I go back to my goal statement, okay, so I created a 3D model of a water bottle using the Revolve tool. But I'm going to use a shell tool next to kind of give this a um, hollowed out um, quality to it. So right up here is the, um, the shell tool, right up next in the, in the modify part portion of the ribbon. Click on the top of your project, uh, basically the opening where you would drink the water from. And it hollows everything out for you. There's only one number that you have to consider, and that is this number right here. This is referring to your wall thickness. 0.1 inch works for me. I mean, if you typed in 0.2, that looks a little too big. So I think 0.1 is, is what I'm going to go with. Let's add on some threads. I click on the thread button, which is right up here in the same neighborhood as the shell tool. And you can get really complicated with this, but we don't have to today. Just click on the object that you want to be threaded. And for mine, it's going to be threaded here. Now, some people would put threads on the inside. Depends on the type of cap you envision having, having for this. And I press OK. All right, so I got just about everything set except for this decal. I want to put a decal on this as well. And actually, before I do that, since I, um, since I really like the way this looks, I'm going to um, give this you know, a different material. I think that the whole thing, I, you know, I kind of like that wooden feature of this. Let's make this be wood. Um, you know, maybe like pine. That's pretty nice. Um, if we can find pine on there. Yellow pine. Yeah, not too bad. I kind of like the idea of this being black down here. I'm going to just kind of click on a few surfaces here. I'm going to hold down the control button. Maybe right click on this. and I think I'm going to go with like a blue color. Because we are the huskies here, and that's our color. Well, that looks pretty nice. I think maybe I'm going to do that for the rest of them here. I'm going to hold down the control key, and I can click on multiple surfaces. I'm going to right click and go to properties, and I can choose any material that I want. Experiment. Have fun with that. Well, that doesn't look too bad. I mean, I got the base, I, fit, I meet the criteria, except for one thing. I have to put a decal on here. So, I mean, all of the computers that we have at our school, you know, we have Photoshop on them. And if you know how to use Photoshop, go ahead. You want to size this thing, your picture out, so that it will fit into this shape. The other program we all have is Microsoft Paint, which um, is easier for us to learn since, you know, um, this uh, video is targeted for 7th graders, right? So go ahead and um, kind of figure out a design for this. And I kind of, as you can see, I've been working on one already. Make sure that the canvas, or basically this whole work area, is, fit, is only for your picture. And you can click right on the edge here and put this right up so that it fills up your entire picture. And that looks pretty good. So I, I'm going to go ahead and save this. I actually saved this uh, before the video. Let's add this onto our design. In order to add it onto the design, we have to create a new sketch. But the problem is I can't create a new sketch on a rounded object. That's something new, because we've never really worked with too many rounded objects yet. In order to create a new sketch on a rounded object, you have to work with a work plane. Work planes are, are really useful. So right now we have to tell a computer what's which one of these surfaces do we want to work with? I find it easiest to go over to the origin tool. And I'm sure there's different methods for this. But I click on the plane that I want to work with. And, and this one is the, the YZ plane is the one you're going to want to work with. Now click on the surface, the outside surface of the water bottle. And this rectangle, that's a work plane. That's a flat surface that we can work with. 
So for example, I could like draw a circle on there and extrude that through the water bottle if you know for whatever reason. But that's my plane. That's my work plane. So let's go ahead and create a new sketch onto that flat surface. Now from here, we can insert an image right up here in the ribbon. There's this insert section. Go up to image and find your image that you saved. You have to have this image saved. And actually, I saved this image on my desktop. I think I called Water Tower Climbing Club. Press open. And you can set this sort of wherever you want. Now I'm going to try to make this symmetrical where the distance on top of it is the same as the distance on the bottom of it. I'm just going to eyeball this today. I'm going to press escape on my keyboard and notice my cursor no longer has that rectangle. I'm going to finish my sketch. So that picture is not wrapped onto my water bottle yet. But I can do that pretty easily by pressing the decal button. The decal button is right up in here in the create section. But it's hidden, at least on my computer. Choose decal. There's two things you have to tell a computer. The first thing is, what is your image? So make sure this is highlighted, which it is and click on your image. All right, that's done. Now it wants to know, well, what face do you want to wrap this to? Well, I have to check. Make sure you have wrap to face checked. And then click on the, the face of the bottle. Press OK. There it is. That looks pretty nice. but. I'm not a big fan of this work plane hanging around. I want to get rid of this, or at least make it invisible. So there's a couple ways you can do this. I think the best method is to go over here, find where it says work plane, and it highlights. Right click on it, and it will say visibility. And right now it's visible, so it's checked. Uncheck that, and it goes away. There you have it. Please print this out. Now, some students will actually do a print screen and put it into Microsoft Word and kind of make it bigger and type their name on it. I like the idea of that as a, a little bit more, but you don't have to do that. But print this out and, and write your name on it and make sure I get this. Here's a couple other ideas. Here I made a sort of a Nelgene bottle with a logo on it. I also made a, this one is kind of copied after a metal camel back that um, someone brought to school. I gave it a aluminum lip on the top, and I put the threads on the inside, which I must not have saved. So good luck and have fun.